I'm saying the discovery on the 30th to the New Hampshire address. Okay, I, I uh, mailed you a form with a different address. Oh, all right. Okay. I think we sent it there, but I don't know. Sent it. I'll right. check it. Okay. So what's this saying? Read it. Don't sign it before you read it. I thought you were trying to describe it to me. It's just confirming the dates. And then we have a, I think we have a hearing on the 15th. Yeah. So this is all we're going to do today do these? Yeah. Okay. Um, so then is the judge going to set like a, because like I have a few more motions I want to send in. I saw one of them. He might either give me a chance to respond or we'll just set it for hearing probably. So right. I don't know if it'll be on that date or if I'll give you a new date. What I'm saying is, yeah, I'm assuming that this is what, that's what we'll handle there. Either he'll rule on them by then or we'll have them discussed at this hearing, right? I don't know. Well, yeah, we'll discuss them <laughs> if we haven't discussed them already, but I don't know if, you know, depending on, I, I've only seen one. Right. So I don't know how many filed. Well, I filed one, I filed a couple. But, uh, okay. I wanted to file two more is what I'm asking in that I'm hoping that I have time. I don't know what they are and I don't know, I can't advise you on what you're doing. No, but... You've done this before, right? <laughs> What's that? Have trials? I, I don't file motions. I'm not your lawyer, that, though. But I'm saying is before, normally the judge sets a date for the final day that motions could be in sometimes. But usually that coincides with this final pretrial conference, right? Typically, but not always. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to assume that that's the case. I don't have time to file two more motions. And if not, then whatever. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, so I guess that's all we're going to do today. Do you guys have any interest in settling this beforehand? The only, well, I mean, do you want to plea? I mean, I will plea, but I'm not going to do any more time, and I'm not going to pay any restitution, and I'm not going to be on probation. So if you let me plead guilty to criminal mischief for time served, I'll you, be You actually will plead guilty? Yes. I don't know. I just was skeptical. I mean, based well, on... Well, if you call me back, you would know this already. Well, no, but I mean, when... Uh, we talked to Mr. Sumner called. He wanted a no contest plea, and those aren't in Indiana. We don't have no contest pleas. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, then whatever. Guilty is fine. Yeah. Okay. If you plead, if you let me plead guilty to no more time, time served, no probation, no restitution, and okay. the restitution might be the only hangup, but I don't have any problem. Well, the restitution is bullshit <laughs> because they said they used a street sweeper, and I'm just we, we, right. we can discuss this. All right. We? we can discuss it. I'm just telling you, I I can't do that today. I would do the time okay. served. I don't have a problem with the the other stuff. I I have to get back. But I'm saying is if we can agree to this, maybe you can have it ready for the fifteenth, so we can do that then. Okay. Well, I'm just telling you. I'll ch I have to check into it. I can't make. A, I can't give you a firm commitment today. That's all I'm saying. Right. But you're willing. That's acceptable to you. Yeah. You I don't. I don't, victims, I don't think. Right? I don't think you need to do any more jail time. I mean, if that's what you're asking. Uh, so if, if you're willing to plead guilty, then I'd be probably willing to do that. If I can get, you know. Clearance that we don't have to have the restitution from the victims, then that's that should be acceptable. Okay, and so is it possible that you can let me know that before the fifteenth? Before the fifteenth? Yeah. Per, yeah. If I mean, if I get perhaps, perhaps, yeah. Well, could you at least contact me before the fifteenth to let me know that you do or don't know that? Maybe. What? Why so difficult? I don't understand. It's just it's. It, it's I understand. I just there's a lot going on right now in uh, this particular time of the year. The court said it's very packed, so I don't know if I'll have time to call you before the 15th. Okay. Um, That's why you asked. Okay. I'm just telling you why. Well, I'm saying because basically if you're around, you have to just call the victims, which is essentially the police department, and ask them if they're okay with it, correct? Correct. All right. And so you're not sure if you're going to have time to do that before the 15th. Correct. Okay. Uh, if you don't do it by the 15th, then I most likely will go to trial. Okay. Because at that point, it's a some cost for me. Okay. You know, I seem I know you're like indifferent to that, but it seems like a, a very logical and fair offer that we're making you. You know, there is a chance that we could win. All right, this I'm telling you, if, if we might be able to do that, I'm just telling you, I can't tell you that for sure today. Um, and really, we're just here to confirm dates. These are very. These are informal. They're not like on the record or anything. Well, so you seem like irritated by this, but like this is your job, and I'm the one that should be irritated by this. I'm not irritated. I'm just telling you what's going on. Right, but it's, it's not. It's just not as cookie cutter as this. These are people's lives. You don't just like put a nut on and then pass it along. You know. What I well, mean? no. There's just procedures though that I, you know, have to go through, and um, that's all. I mean. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm good. Okay. I guess you have to do Mr. Summer now. Yeah. What's up? Hey. Hmm. So are you willing? Well, hold on. Are you are you both of our 
Are you, are, I'm covering for Brian. We usually split these up. Okay. So. I was just curious. I didn't know because we have a motion to join the case as well. So I didn't right, know yeah. That was I mean, accepted or denied? Well, he has to rule on it. So it's still in the past. Okay, go ahead. We've got uh, one other case that was long. Okay. So We're basically changing our date to the trial is the 14th, but this one doesn't have it. It's, well, it does, but it doesn't say the dates. They changed mine to the second. Where's mine? Or mine's in the other file. It's his pre-trial isn't written on here. Is it the 14th of the trial is for the 7th right fourth, January 4th. Fourth, fourth, fourth of January. Yeah. No, no, that's guilty plea. It's not right in there. Unless you want it. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. So, do you want me to talk to Brian about a time served point? Thanks, Nick. Are you interesting? Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, he already told Brian. About I already that. told Brian. I was my. I was like, Brian says I'm the one who's a talk to my attorney at this point in time. You yeah. know. Like, okay. The prosecutor. Or prosecutor. Prosecutor. Yeah. Um, you're, you're your attorney. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a okay. prosecutor, but I'm not going to talk to my prosecutor. All right, no, we just we don't have no count contest pleas here. You have to plead either guilty or not guilty. I didn't know that. That's okay. what. But yeah, guilty plea. You know, preferably, I'd rather have you guys know process it, and then I know what you prefer, but well, I understand. But yeah. I'm saying is because, and then I'll sign a form that I won't see you guys for violating my First Amendment right. Okay. You know what I'm saying, and that would that would be ideal to me. But if, because like my problem is that you can't actually guarantee me anything, right? You can suggest something to the judge. But Correct. He, might do he, something he has to. He has to accept the plea. Right, and so that would be my concern that he might not do that anyways. I don't know what he'll do. But you can all process it, right? You gonna do that in Indiana? I. Yeah, I don't want to get into it. I'm not going to. So not going what's to? the point of talking about it? I guess that's the. I guess that's where I'm going with it. Why won't you all process it or drop it? I'm just not going to do it. Let's leave it there. It's bad for his career, man. <laughs> it probably is. Small town like this, police department, you know? All right, so you guys know when to be back. You yeah. get a copy of your order in the uh, office. No, that's all right. Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah. So what do you think? I don't know, man. It's a very logical plea deal that Brian and I are offering, which is no time, no or time served, no probation, no fines, whatever, and uh, doesn't seem like he's going to be going for that. He's definitely not going to drop it, so that's interesting. But I don't know. We'll just see how it pans out, I guess. Uh, well, was this similar to like the reasons they wouldn't drop it uh, in Fresno? And I talked to Memorial. Like the victim was the police department. And uh, they have a close professional relationship with each other. And neither one bad for wants business. To, yeah, it's bad for business. So, like, when do you guys do back? The 4th. And the 4th of January and then the 14th is our trial. Good Lord. All right. Keep you updated. Oh.